Welcome to LearnComputerScienceOnline.com, and in this video, we are going to discuss, what is computer motherboard? Let us first start with, a simple introduction to the computer motherboard. Computer motherboard, is the main component of the computer. It is type of circuit board, used to assemble and interconnect, various components of the computer system. The motherboard provides the connection sockets, for installing, some of the most important system components. The motherboard is mounted inside the computer case. Different types of motherboards are available in the computer hardware market, and the choice depends upon the system configuration and performance capability that you wish to provide to the computer. In other words, you need to select the motherboard that is compatible and supports the microprocessor, main memory RAM, and other components that you want to use in your computer system. Okay. After this brief overview, let us now explore in detail different parts of the motherboard, various connection sockets, and expansion slots present on the motherboard. Let us first find out what is a circuit board. Since motherboard is a circuit board, and you might be wondering, what is a circuit board? Well, a circuit board is a type of electronic component used in almost all electronic devices, including a computer. In computer, a motherboard is used for interconnecting various electronic components. It is also commonly referred to as a printed circuit board, abbreviated as PCB. The motherboard connects both internal hardware components placed inside the computer system case and external peripheral devices that are connected externally to the computer. The peripheral devices are connected to the computer through a motherboard interface panel that is visible from the rear side of the computer case. Different hardware components are installed on the specific ports provided on the motherboard. The first component installed on the motherboard is a microprocessor. It is also referred as central processing unit or a CPU. The CPU is the brain of the computer and provides the processing power to the computer to perform various operations. The microprocessor chip is installed on the motherboard into a specific socket that is provided with a mechanical liver lock mechanism. The CPU socket on the motherboard is specially designed to firmly hold the microprocessor chip into the CPU socket. The microprocessor chip is protected from damage caused by excessive heat by mounting a special heat sink on the top of processor chip. The miniature fan of the heat sink provides adequate ventilation and helps to cool down the processor chip. Let us move on to the next motherboard component. The second component installed on the motherboard is the random access memory, called RAM. The RAM is considered the main memory of the computer. It is also called as primary memory of the computer. The motherboard provides specific DIMM slots for the installation of RAM modules. The RAM modules are mounted into the DIMM slots, which firmly holds the RAM modules into the socket. The compatibility of the RAM module with motherboard should be first checked prior to its installation. Let us move on to the next motherboard component. The third important component connected to the motherboard is the hard disk. The disk memory or hard disk is considered the secondary memory of the computer. It is also called as permanent memory of the computer. The motherboard provides specific connection socket to connect the hard disk. The hard disks are mounted inside the computer case. The computer case provides multiple mechanical slots used for mounting the hard disk drive. The hard disk is connected to the motherboard using a SATA connection cable for data transfer during the data read and write operation. The hard disk also needs electric power supply to operate. The hard disks are connected to the computer power supply unit called switch mode power supply unit, SMPS which provides the electric power supply. The solid state drives SSD are also installed and connected to the motherboard, similar to the hard disk connection. Okay, let us move on to the next part of the motherboard, and that is expansion slots or peripheral component interconnect, PCI slots. The expansion slots are the connection ports present on all motherboards where expansion card can be installed to add additional feature and functionality to the computer system. Expansion slots are provided on the motherboard 
for the installation of various expansion cards. Each expansion card provides a specific functionality to the computer. Some of the most commonly used expansion cards include the graphics card, sound card, and network card. For example, a graphics card is used to provide additional computing power to the computer to enhance the graphics processing capability of the computer. Graphics card is installed into the motherboard expansion slots. Graphics card is a must add on card for all high end computers used for graphics processing work and demanding video games. Similarly, a sound card can also be added to the computer. The sound card is used to add additional audio processing functionality to the computer. The sound card is very useful for a musician who wants to use computer for the professional work. Okay, let us move on to the next important component of the motherboard, and that is chipset or controller chips. The controller chips are also commonly referred as the North Bridge and South Bridge. On the older motherboards, the North Bridge controller chip connects processor with main memory RAM, and the South Bridge chip provides interface to connect various external peripheral input and output devices. However, in all modern day motherboard architecture, the North Bridge functionality is now integrated with the microprocessor. As per the latest motherboard architecture, the North Bridge chip is completely eliminated, and the old motherboard architecture is now replaced by Platform Controller Hub PCH architecture. As per PCH architecture, the South Bridge functionality is now completely handled by a single Platform Controller Hub PCH chip. Okay, let us move on to the next important component of the motherboard, and that is input and output interfaces. The motherboard typically provides multiple connectivity options on the rear section of the motherboard. These connection ports are used to connect various input and output devices, such as keyboard, mouse, monitor, speakers, printer, and other such peripheral devices. All right, so that brings to the end of this tutorial on what is computer motherboard? Please visit our website, learncomputerscienceonline.com, for detailed article on computer hardware. If you have liked this video, then please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon with another interesting computer science tutorial.